Fishy a draw today. Could you tell us something about the game? Um, well, obviously, we liquidated, I mean, we exchanged a lot of pieces and we got into a very simple, um, I wouldn't call it an end game because we still have queens, but almost an end game. And then, um, but I found this plan to play bishop e2, put a rook on c3 and threaten to double on the c file. And I, I thought maybe I can uh, make life a bit unpleasant for him. He found a very unusual plan, which is to put his rook on c6 and defend it like that. Uh, so then I decided not to exchange rooks because that will take the pressure off him, but to simply move with the queen t and try and improve it as much as possible. Of course, objectively, I don't think I have anything, but it can be difficult to play over the board. So my idea was to maneuver my queen to f4 or e5 and then see what I could do. Um, and then we had this funny exchange where I was we try, uh, sort of zigzagging with the queens and then uh, he got careless for a minute. When I went to h4, he went to f8 and he allowed b4. After this, I, I briefly thought I was winning. Uh, then I realized that he has some great resources. For instance, after queen d7, bishop e6 doesn't work because of rook e6, rook c7, queen d5, rook takes b7, g5. And um, um, then afterwards, I've, I felt that I should be breaking through, but I couldn't see exactly how. The thing is, if he waits on b7 with his bishop and he leaves his rooks on b8, I mean uh, c8 and d7, I don't see how I can break through. Maybe I have to put a lever rook on a7 and trade bishops, but the problem is black always gets counterplay one way or the other. Anyway, to cut a long story short, uh, I was, um, well, I, may, I succeeded in making life unpleasant for him, but it was not enough. He always defended very well. And the thing about Sergei is he makes passive moves very uh, uh, exactly. He's, he has no problems making passive moves. You could see sometimes he needed to waste a move, he would play king h8 or king f8. And sometimes this is the most unpleasant thing in a defender, that uh, um, they don't try to break free. So I could not do anything. Do you think you still have chances uh, to uh, to get at the same level uh, in this tournament as Magnus? Well, I'm trying not to go there. I mean, um, I mean, first let me uh, play the next game and, and it goes like that. Obviously... Um, well, I guess I have theoretical chances, so uh, we'll see. But um, um, yeah, well, he's Magnus is much more efficient at collecting points. I mean, he's just uh, winning every kind of position, and um, no, that's an amazing skill. So it makes it very tough on the others to catch up. I mean, um, um, he, I mean, he's just converting almost every game. So that's a huge uh, disadvantage if you're trying to keep up with him. Thank you.